All right. Go ahead and pull up your worksheet 45. Uh, from the series Monday. Um, uh, worksheet 45. Worksheet 45. Go ahead and pull it up, please. Okay, so for this one today, we're talking about major key things. Okay, so we're writing the actual name of the key thing. So the way this is going to work, our goal is that we number one. So every time you see sharks on your feet, on your feet, so they're always going to go in this order, okay? So on the top of the class, let's just review real quick for the update so you don't quite remember that part of the time. Okay, so what is the first line in travel class? What is that? E, right. It is E. And then what's next? What? G. G is the next line, yeah. Okay, what's the space right here? Uh, F. F, right? Okay, so it's kind of, that's where it starts. So go D, F, G, and then what? A. A. B. C. Next. B. C. D. C. E. C. F. F. Not pretty at all. Okay. Yeah. So these are kind of how it looks. So if you're a base class person, it's the same process. It's just going to be in trouble class this time, and then we'll talk about base class on the next one. So for our number one, we have F sharp and C sharp, right? Okay. So how many sharps is that? Two. Two. Right. So then we come over here to our circle of fifths. Two o'clock is what key? D. D. So why did I go to two o'clock? Because it's too sharp. Exactly right. So what key is that, number one? Yeah? D. Oh, no. Okay, thank you. So, yeah, the number one is D. So, I'll explain it one more time. Okay? So, we have our circle of fifths right here. Okay? And we're talking about sharks, and this is the shark type. Okay? So, we have how many sharks are in number one? Two. 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 Right. So, we're going to go one o'clock, two o'clock. Well, what note is two o'clock? D. D. So, what's the key of number one? Absolutely right. So let's look at one more. Uh, let's do a flat one. Let's look at number seven. Okay. So it's kind of the same process. Over here is our order of flats. Erase that. So anytime we see key signatures with flats, they're going to be in this order. B, E, A, D, G, C, S. Right. So B, greatest common factor. You've heard that before. Some of us. Yes. Okay. Right? 
So then we come down here, and all we have to do is write F sharp on the line. That's not it. Okay. We write F sharp, and then we write C sharp. Okay? Now, remember last, just like we talked about in week's class, the sharp sign needs to be right in the middle. Okay. The sharp sign needs to be right in the middle of the line. Yes? For F? And it needs to be right in the middle of the space. Okay? Give me thumbs up if that makes sense. Okay. We will have to count it wrong if it's not right in the spot. Because if a musician's looking at it and it's not right in the middle of the line or right in the middle of the space, it's confusing it for when you're playing it. And then it just creates a whole thing that we don't want to deal with. So we want to make sure it's right in the middle of the line or right in the middle of the space. Okay? And then it's the same process for the bottom down here. Okay? So you're going to spot, you're going to do the same thing with flat. So let's look at number 13 real quick. It says the key of B flat. Do we already do B flat up here? Yeah? So yeah. Said, yeah. Yeah? Okay. So what do we draw for B flat then? C and, no, sorry, E and B. What? E and B. E and B? B flat, B flat, yeah. Oh. There you go. <laughs>
What questions do we have? Zero. Zero, okay. Anybody else have any kind of questions? Take an hour forever, hold your peace. We good? No. Okay. okay. Uh, we have